Come all you young rounders And a story I'll tell Of the promise of heaven And the warning of hell but Take heed where you ramble Or too soon you will go Way up on the hill flowers grow Early met in the springtime The sun sinking low Two star-crossed lovers In the still melting snow Where well, the loving was in All right, friends, real fast, we got some rain headed this way, and I need to get some of this other poplar log sawed up. How many layers do I have on that pallet? One, two, three, four, five. I like to have about nine layers of lumber per pallet, and that equals about 300 board feet. A little bit more on these because they're 10 feet long. But that's a good weight, I think, per pallet to move lumber around and we will get more than enough out of this log right here. Once we get enough for nine layers of lumber, we'll stop what we're doing and take this down to the kiln for storage. We're not gonna turn the kiln on today because we don't have a full load, but we'll go ahead and start putting that in the kiln and hopefully beat the rain. Then we'll come back up here and maybe finish up this log if the rain isn't too bad. I don't mind the work in the rain, guys, but where I stand back here on the back of the operator station, the wind blows this direction and you get soaked standing back there. And more importantly, the controller gets wet. And I don't want that either. So uh, like I was saying, this is yellow poplar. We're gonna be sawing this at four quarter, six and a half inches wide. This will be made into shift lap, probably in about three weeks here at the mill. So that's all I got to say about that, I guess. Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7 on the mill. If you want those blades, call Joe. Cell phone number is down in the video description. All right, guys, I was getting ready to fire up the sawmill and I got a weather alert and check that out. Put the phone down, you guys can see it a little bit better. So I am right there. It looks like that rain is gonna be here in about 15 minutes. So on to plan B. So I don't have a full pallet yet. Like I was saying, we got five layers of tulip poplar on there and I don't wanna get caught in the rain trying to load this in the kiln with the doors open and get wet inside the track loader or leave this lumber laying out here to get soaked in the rain. So against my better judgment, we'll go ahead and load this up as a partial load. And when we saw up at Poplar, either today or when the rain stops, who knows when, we'll just take the Poplar down there and stack it on top of this pallet. That's the plan for now. If I'd have got out here about an hour sooner this morning, I'd have probably got this done. That's the way it goes. But, it wasn't like I was doing nothing this morning. I was editing a video. So, that's the way it goes sometimes. Have I mentioned how much I like this trap loader right here? If I haven't, I'm gonna mention it now. This is a nice machine right here.
All right, friends, it's about one o'clock and I think the rain will be here for the next probably four hours. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go in the house, get cleaned up and take Bruno and the wife out for an early dinner. So when you guys see me here in a few minutes, I'll be wearing something totally different, but it's still the same day. Don't go anywhere. All right, guys, and we're back. It's been about four hours and it looks like the rain has finally moved out. It's pretty nice out here right now. Let's go up here to the sawmill, friends, and work on this pop. Right. 